guys, so a lot of you have been requesting packing videos or kind of suitcase related videos, what I bring to travel and because it's summer that's really the time when I do a lot of my traveling, it's actually 5am, we're about to hop on a plane to um, Georgia. But basically I'm going to be going on kind of like a weekend getaway. It is my great uncle Harold's 100th birthday in Hilton Head. But yeah, my family and I are going to Hilton Head just for the weekend, we're leaving on a Friday and we're coming back on a Monday so it's very quick so obviously I'm just going to be packing on carry on and I thought this might be a helpful video for you guys because I think I kind of pack a little bit differently than most people and considering it's carry on it's kind of some like quick tips on how to pack very light if you're just going away for a weekend. Just a quick lowdown and tell you where things are from. My suitcase is from Victoria's Secret Pink. It came with like, two others in like a little set and then my toiletry case slash makeup thing is from CVS in case you guys were wondering. Okay and that's about it so if you want to continue on to see how I pack my suitcase keep on watching. So here is where I lay everything out while I'm packing and it's on my bed and basically what I do with I think is a little bit different than most people is I actually use plastic bags for every single day of the week. Obviously if I was going on like a three week long trip and it was just like beach days in Hawaii relaxing. I obviously wouldn't plan outfits but if I'm going to something where I've got like events to go to or anything like that or if I'm only going for like a weekend then it's just so much easier especially if you're an overpacker to just put things in Ziploc bags and these are just like the big Ziploc bags and literally in here like this is one day outfit I have a maxi dress and a necklace and I just keep oh earrings I lied and I just keep them both in there and then in this one I've got a shirt a tank top a little cover-up more earrings and shorts so I brought one blazer and one denim jacket just because I think those are the kind of more versatile this one's obviously way 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 cash and this is a little more dressy that I could pair with something else depending on what I'm wearing that's just it for what I pack for an outfit like each day every, every day the whole outfits in here and then I have a different Ziploc bag that has bathing suits, bra, and underwear, and then I have my pajamas. I bring one pair of boxer shorts and one pair of sweatpants. Just because I'm only going for a couple days, I could rewear my pajamas if I needed to, because obviously I'm not gonna get like super sweaty stanky in them, but definitely I recommend bringing a pair of sweatpants and kind of like a shorts to sleep in if it's the summer, because you never ha know like if your hotel's gonna be air conditioned or anything like that. And so for how I store my accessories on travel, basically I have one Michael Kors box with watches. I wear one watch on the plane and I don't wear it through security because again, hate those people who do that Jenna Marbles video. But I basically just wear it on my wrist until I go through security, then I'll put it in my bag and then I put it back on. And so then I have another Michael Kors uh, box just full of bracelets. And then in here is two nicer necklaces. And my regular like earrings and necklaces with each outfit I have in here, where it's like my nicer jewelry sort of my Tiffany's thing. So here are the shoes they're bringing. Basically I have one pair of pretty universal casual sandals. So if any of these other shoes hurt my feet, I can always go back to these ones. And then I've got kind of a more like bold statement-y shoe another kind of demure-ish, but nice, and then one pair of wedges. If I had a formal thing to go to, I would obviously bring heels, but because it's the summer, I think wedges are a lot more appropriate. I have idea in my head which shoe's gonna go with which outfit, but in a worst case scenario, I definitely recommend bringing at least one pair of shoes that could go with every single outfit you brought that are you know 100% are really, really comfortable. So what I used to pack in is this big Victoria's Secret roller duffel and this is a carry-on trip like I said before so this is actually if I don't overpack it which I know I won't because I don't even think I'm packing it is um big enough and I mean small enough to actually be a carry-on but I can totally check this as well if I ever needed to it's kind of ripping here sad 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 so the first thing I put in my suitcase is my jackets just because they definitely take up the most amount of room I would also recommend if you're bringing jeans to definitely put them in here or any other really bulky items and so the first thing I do is put my jacket in the same thing goes along with my blazer next I go into packing anything that is not in a ziploc bag which first off is my pajamas because I put my sweatpants in there my pajama shorts in there and then I'm putting in some t-shirts to go to sleep in and finally a more of somewhat of a sweater thing to sleep in you guys enjoy my outfit get wild get pink yeah, 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 do, 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 packing in my pajamas, why am I so cool, I don't even know, do, 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 do. So then how I keep things in a Ziploc bag, if you just close it, it's going to be full of air, you're going to see it's a puffy, imagine trying to do that, so basically, 
what I do to keep it even more compact. So hug all of the air out and squeeze all of the air out. And then here you go, it's all wrinkled and it is super, super compact now. And so then I just start by putting these in. Again, you want to hug all the air out. And you might not want to call it hugging, but I like calling it hugging. It seems very friendly. I recommend kind of zip locking it halfway and then hug all the air out so you don't have to do the whole thing. And then look how freaking compact that is. It's like vacuum sealed. Obviously, if you had a vacuum seal, now would be the time to use it. There are obviously some things that won't fit in a Ziploc bag. That's why I recommend if you're bringing jeans to wear, don't pack them in a Ziploc bag. If you're bringing jeggings or leggings, I think they'll work. But this is basically for stuff that, I'm not really re-wearing outfits this trip, but if you're re-wearing outfits, this may not apply to you as much. So I recommend packing the bulkiest shoes in your carry-on first because they can go in the bottom and kind of set the stage. They're the ones that are the most sturdy that you know aren't really gonna get scuffed up or anything like that. The shoes kind of just in a specific corner so they're not all the way spread out so you don't have to like reach in your suitcase for all that stuff because you'll be living out of a suitcase if you're not totally unpacking. Keeping the shoes confined to one small corner works so much better. So finally start putting your jewelry in. I recommend kind of cushioning it between a couple of items or in between the plastic bags or anything squishy. And if you're packing jewelry in something like this, anything that's kind of more flimsy, the Michael Kors boxes are definitely very sturdy and will stay together. I recommend and taking a hair tie, any kind will do, and just putting it around it so it's less likely to fall out. So here is my suitcase. As you can see, I've got my jewelry all in here, my Ziploc things all through here, and then my corner of shoes. Make sure to toss in any hot tools, curling irons, or flat irons that you will be using. And finally, slip in your toiletry case and your makeup bag, and you are ready to go jet set off to wherever you're going. So I definitely recommend laying out your outfit for your flight the night before. Depending on the timing of your flight, your outfit could obviously change. For me, at least, because we're leaving so early in the morning, we'll be getting there right in the afternoon, and we're going to be going straight to lunch and doing all these things. So I really don't have time to change, nor do I have the space to bring a change of clothes as if I was wearing sweatpants. So instead, a really good alternative is wearing jeggings. These are jeggings from American Eagle, and they're some neon neon coral. They're so comfortable that like you can't even feel that you're wearing anything that would look remotely fashionable, but you are. I definitely recommend wearing layers as well. I have a white tank top under this and then kind of a sheer polka dotted top. Again, also really cute, but really, really, really comfortable. And so for jewelry, I typically wear my bulkiest pieces or my nicest pieces. So I'm wearing a Michael Kors watch and just this plain bangle, both which would have not really fit well in my jewelry area so I'm just gonna wear them because they're very easy to take on and off. As for shoes, I definitely recommend wearing closed-toed shoes because the airport can get really really chilly. I'm just wearing a pair of gold Tory Burch flats because I don't really want them to get scuffed or squished in my suitcase and because they're flats they're really comfortable. I definitely recommend bringing a sweatshirt because it does get cold traveling in between the airport or a cab or rental car or anything like that. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I will be hopping on a plane right now. It is so early and I'm so tired. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for a what's in my travel makeup bag slash toiletry case video. And as soon as that's up, I'll have it linked in the down bar. Bye. So much makeup on. Oh wait, there's no makeup on. Shh.